Hi guys, and welcome to the fourth episode, the long-awaited fourth episode of Movie Talk. Now, oh, okay, from Donnie Darko. Okay, now. So from, so from everything we've done so far now, we are moving, we are moving on now to live action cartoon adaptations. And for this episode I've handpicked four films from that category. The first of which is The Flintstones. Released in 1994, it tells the story of, obviously, the Flintstones, Fred Wilmer, Barney Bay, and basically the story of the Rubbles adopting, uh, it's basically the story then, sorry, of Fred becoming an executive for Slay and Company, while the subplot involves the Rubbles adopting a baby boy named Bam Bam. And once Fred becomes this executive, he forgets who he is. And it eventually leads to him laying off all his friends down in the quarry. Yes, I know what you guys must be thinking. What a rocker. <laughs> what a mother rocker. Oh I can see that was a major epic fail. But let this set the tone for you. What I thought of the Flintstones, right, okay. I think it's one of the better live action cartoon adaptations out there. And leave it to a Hanna Barbera cartoon adaptation that's done in live action to have the theme song for the show at the beginning. Yeah. And um, so now, what do I actually think of the Flintstones deserve wise as a rating? Watch my hands go up. Yeah, that's right. It's worthy of a perfect score. Flash forward six years now to 2000 when you saw the release of the Flintstones in Viva, in Viva Rock Vegas. This acts as a prequel to the aforementioned the Flintstones as it takes place years before the Flintstones and shows us the classic story of Boy Meets Girl. The story of Fred and Barney and Wilma and Betty as they begin date, as they meet for the first time and begin dating. We meet Chip Rockefeller, the villain of this film, who invites him to his casino in Rock Vegas, where he basically sets Fred up as a thief. And it ends, setting the tone for the Flintstones. The Flintstones and Rubbles getting married. Now, as prequels go, I didn't think this was half bad. Well, I didn't think it was that spectacular either. So I'll give it an average score. Five. Our third film tonight is The Smurfs. Now, this film was released in 2011. It's another one of those good live action cartoon adaptations. It tells the story of the Smurfs who are inadvertently sucked through a portal created by Gargamel 
into our world where they meet and attach themselves to a couple in New York and cause lots of havoc and especially seeing as they're little blue people walking around in the human world completely left their own village and Gargamel eventually, yes, he ends up in prison what do I think of the Smurfs as a rating? well I said it was one of the good live action adaptations. So for a good film, watch this IMDB reviewers. A good film is this. A seven. Not this. <laughs> <laughs> you dumbasses. Our final film tonight is the 2002 live action adaptation of Scooby Doo. Just entitled Scooby Doo the movie. Now, the story of this is actually it follows Mystery Inc. as they've split up um, for two years before getting back together to go to Spooky Island to solve a mystery. Their first mystery in two years since the caper of the lunar ghost and needless to say while they're trying to solve this mystery havoc is wreaked and they find themselves in the hands or should I say in the paws of this film's villain Scooby's nephew Scrappy Doo Hmm. Let me at him! Let me at him! <laughs> okay, now. As a rating, I think this film deserves... A nine. If you want to check out a previous review of that film separately as its own separate episode, check out series 5 of the Daily Movie Reviews. And as always, I'd encourage you to watch these movies and let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Until then. Have fun watching movies. <laughs>